Hello there guys, it's Virgins here, and welcome back. Um, I haven't uploaded in a while, but I'm back with an Arsenal crew mode. I'm going to today's episode, you can see we're playing Sunderland first, and we play Stoke next. I will be commentating on the episode as well, so enjoy. And then I've got a uh, Zero Tiro lined up ready. Um, all I need to do is do the commentary like I'm doing now. That will probably be done tomorrow because I'll do a load of recording now and then just upload uh, probably this now and then upload tomorrow. Like I've got GTA for tomorrow. Um, but I won't have some Black Ops 2 ready for tomorrow. I'll have got a few more Zero Tiro's. That's not going too well to be honest. Um, so what I might do is I might um, play some offline games, like in tournaments. But put it as quite a hard difficulty and just try and if I win a game I'll so I can upgrade a player. So if you guys agree with that rule, just leave a like because I need to know. I'm gonna do it anyway, but just know if you guys don't like it, you know, just like it, it's cool. So basically the rule is that uh because my zero tier it's not going very well and I'm not winning any games of one one. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna play some offline on the tournament, put it as like professional world class, and then if I win, I can't play the player and go from there. And then what? When we get silver team, maybe do some tournaments and that. And, and as you can see, um, she really getting offside there. Um. Yeah, so we've got two games in this episode. That's why it's slightly longer than the ones. That's what I I'll, I'll, I'll do two videos. So I was in the mood. I mean, you've got to be in the mood to do a YouTube. So I'm, I actually signed up for a YouTube partnership um, Wednesday, and so far I've had nothing back, but hopefully you now I'll get something back, which would be awesome if I did. And as you see in the top left there, we've actually got we've got Marco Royce in the squad. Um, if you remember last episode uh, that I beat Tottenham, I forgot to set the game, so I'd seen the game and I lost 2-1, so I'm like, I think 12th at this point, but I don't know, I was, I was a bit annoyed, but we still managed to get Marco Royce, which is really cool, and again, Chamberlain comes offside there, which you know, is disappointing, but you no, know, that happens. So how are you guys today, are you doing good? Um, I might do... Obviously, doing Black Ops 2 in a bit. Um, if I can live stream, I'll do a live stream. If I can't, you know, I'll, I'll try to, but if I can't, I can't, you know. So, where the cookie crumbles? Well, it'd be good if, good if it was my first live stream that people were watching it, so I'll, I'll try and go at that. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, I'll get, I should get some people to watch it. You know, if not, then. It's absolutely fine, it's their problem if they don't watch it. Well, I like the channel to grow a bit before I actually do any um, live streams because obviously, if I'm doing a live stream and get like two people watching, you know, I'm not going to feel like doing it for long. I'm going to feel like, oh, this is pretty shit, and I'll do a 30 minute live stream. But you know, but you know, you just get over that really, and you learn to deal with it, and you progress through that. and you get more um, views and subscribers in partnerships, which is what I'm doing at the moment. And we come very close here. Drew Urza tried to scrap it in. Drew with a pathetic shot there. Very disappointing. Could have done better. Um, this game's very. I found it very disappointing, you know. I had quite a lot of chances, but I never really managed to score from them, which is disappointing when it's the whole part of the crew mode. You know, um, it's, as I said, disappointing, but you, know, you learn off that, and you know where I need to make, we need, need to build on. And it, I feel it was just annoying because obviously I only play at the weekends, and I feel that I don't have. I used to be, I used to be good at FIFA, but now I'm. Not bad, but I should be I should be winning games with this really comfortably. But I think it's the fact that I'm trying I'm doing it for YouTube, so I'm trying to do you know a bit of comedy, so it's harder for me to gain back. But 
I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I found this, I found I had about two games to put it that way. You'll find out the result of the um, Stoke game when you watch the rest of the video. And Titan, I've just got an email. Titan Ford is now out. Came out today. That's a game um, that I will want to be getting in the future. I was on my laptop or. I don't know, Xbox, so I've got on my laptop. But I, only, I really want to get a game PC, which would be pretty sick if I did. I need to have that fight Minecraft. I do actually use my laptop for college work. So we know it's annoying if I couldn't actually if it was too laggy, which Tidal Fall probably would be if it's such an ingeniously designed game that it would need quite a lot of RAM to run it. And we reach half time here, nil nil. You know, but I was annoyed, I was annoyed at this point. I wasn't happy with my performance. If I go quiet, there's not really a lot for me to talk about. And Chesney being an absolute buster, and I don't know how I got a uh, goal kick from that, but I managed to, which is good, good. And Sunderland were looking quite dangerous in this game for these last few minutes. And I was getting quite nervous about them coming forward and possibly getting a goal. So I really wasn't playing very well. I was playing shocking for what I normally. I'm used to. I think it's just that hero to zero thing. I'm just like used to being put down. But um, I think in the hero to zero video, well, I put two. Oh, there's two ready. In one of them, I definitely show my goal team, and it is my goal team's good. I not to boast, but it's got star. It's like some good solid BPO goal players, and I'm tempted. Actually, tell you what I might do. I'm gonna stop zero to hero, but it's not going very well, and just quit sell the bronze team that I've got. And then with the gold GPL team I've got, put um, I know do something else and make it into like a German like buying unit team or a, like a make another team with it. So I have my BPL team and I have my German team at the same time, which I think would be pretty cool. Like. I don't know, call it from um, BPL to German or um, I don't know. Ro road, road to the top. Because I think that would be a good idea. Personally, um, in my own opinion, because then I'll be able to. Um, I'll be able to play with a good team that I like playing with and enjoy playing with them. And you know, win win some games, and then make make a team that I'll enjoy playing with, such as the German team. I know some of the players will be quite cheap, some of them will be very expensive. On the likes of Robin Lewandowski, uh, Ribery, they they and it's like Schweinsteiger, they'll be expensive, but it'll be good if I got them and I was able to capitalise with them and you know destroy some people online. But I'll probably start. I'll play. I'll play online. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'll play online with this team. See, see how my team fares against other people. And you know, um, I make, I make a few subs here. If I'm just fed of the slowness in the squad. So I bring on Walcott uh, for Chamberlain and Ramsey for Ozil. So, yeah. Some good solid squads. Um, subs there. Walcott actually has, had, does have a good game after this. So I'm certainly enjoying some gameplay now while I um, watch it myself because I haven't watched it yet and I'm seeing the quality is good which is what I enjoy. You can see Ch Chamberlain is subsequently made yet. Chamberlain can quick break and the ball goes out for corner so the subs are able to come on. The ref saying yes you can come on, you can come on. And I get a penalty here for a handball. Like Arteta step up, steps up to take this. 
And he scores. Of course he does. When would our test not score a free uh, penalty like that? And then suddenly coming very close there with a chance, but obviously not close enough. And Walcott paces through there, but a shocking shot from Walcott. I was very disappointed with that shot from him. I thought, I thought he would have scored that, but no, he doesn't. And we're coming to the end of our uh, Sunderland game. So I'm actually playing a game whilst recording. Oh, playing an iPod game whilst recording this. So I'm trying to like concentrate on that and just playing the game. But you know, I can do I can multitask. Most men can't, but I can somehow. I I think I need to strengthen my defenders. I I need to bring in Halibur. That, that's what that's what I want to bring in. I want to bring Aliba for my left back. Maybe like, maybe like Song for a CDM. Just to help strengthen the squad. Striker, I'll probably bring one in as well. Depend, depending on much how money much money I get and who I sell. But I'll probably probably be looking to sell Urzel because depending depending on how his season goes, he hasn't really cut it for me. Um, he's not really. He, he's. Overrated, I, I think he's overrated personally. You know, he's 88 overrated, he's 28. I think he should be 85. He should. It's. I think it's because he well played for Andres and he he was a world class player, but now he's not. So I personally feel he should he shouldn't be 88 rated. That's my opinion, though. That's my opinion. So yeah, we win the game one one nil, and now we move on to the Stoke game. Here we go, let's take let's go try and beat Stoke. I'm not gonna tell you what happens. It'll start to be a spoiler. But obviously I know what happens, you guys don't. So I'm just, I'm letting you enjoy the gameplay. Thanks for watching guys, let's play Origins out. live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. Today it's Arsenal against Stoke City. Your commentary team is Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there again, Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith's alongside me and it's Barclays Premier League action for you. Tell us what you think about this Arsenal team. It hasn't been the best of starts for them, has it Martin? A team that we all expected to only finish as champions. Good news is that we're still early on in this season and they have got a chance starting today to, to make amends and show some of their better form. Steven Unzonzi, Ryan Shotton, looking for Odom Wingy. Odom Wingy. So now a goal kick to come. Oh, 
Arsenal. They're looking for another victory today to add on to their recent away win against Sunderland. Yeah, nice and tight at the back in the 1-0 win. Clean sheets are great, and uh, the strikers can score. I think they will win today again. Oh, time to get the cross now. Closed him down well. The cross doesn't come in. Good defending. Corner for Arsenal. Oh, it was an easy clearance from the corner. And they could attack from this, actually. Here's Wilson. A very crisp challenge there. Great chance. so early on in the season here and uh, that'll give him a lot of confidence going forward well that's the first goal of the game it's 1-0 into the attacking third Arteta cross now from Bakary Sanya be looking for an equaliser from this corner Arsenal Giro about this goal from your old club it was a beauty from start to finish it was class oh the timing of the jump and the, the timing of the header they were they were all perfect to, to finish off that corner well we're back at level pegging again at 1-1 one, one. excellent defensive tackle Mesut Ozil well they've given the ball to him straight away and they'll be giving it to him for the rest of the game I'm sure if they can Here's Wilson. He's got to score. Oh. oh. Absolutely fantastic play from a fantastic team and wow that's a goal that really rubber stamps all their credentials well it's been men against boys out there martin hasn't it such a professional performance some potential in this move corner now to try and get themselves level. Cassiani! Good chance, good preparation, poor finish. Yeah, it was a poor finish and I did expect him to do better. Normally connects with the ball much more crisply than that. Not the authentic Arsenal to this point, not by any means. And players will be well aware of their own shortcomings, their underachievements at this point. Still the second half to come. He's gone in strongly and got the ball. Attacking now. Oh, he takes the shot. Keeper really stretched and he's made a fine diving save. But well, here's a chance. It's a corner. They're a goal down. Giro! Sama Asaidi. Away from that slide tackle. Half time now. And 2 1 is the score at the break. Half time, and nothing really decided as yet, Alan. No, and I think it might just be the one goal that does separate them. Well, this is the uh, second half now, and it's underway. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. The goal 
today, early in his career, of course, with this new club. Good feeling for him. Yeah, it was. He took the goal well, and he's, he's apart from the goal, he's played well. His general game has been very tidy. Stephen Ireland. The players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. Well, he's going to come off now, and he's going to get a great round of applause. I think these uh, new fans of his, uh, this new club for him, really, it's a good marriage, this. Yeah, it always helps when you get the crowd on your side. It gives you so much confidence. Sanya. The defenders come in well here. Timed his uh, approach and got the ball. Laurent Koscielny. Towards Royce. You can tell. He wants to score. Some potential in this move. This is the chance. I don't like to use the word panic, but I think it's appropriate here. Ireland. The part today, really, he's only been here a few weeks, hasn't he? And he's gone off, but he certainly hasn't gone off the boil with his performance. No, he, he's hit the ground running at this football club and uh, hasn't really needed much time to settle. Mesut Ozil. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. He has been pressed there to running the ball out of play. Well, what will this mean for the team? They're going to... Bring two new players on. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. Options available on the bench for the away side today. Olivier Giroud. This is an opportunity for them to break out from the back. Marco Royce. He has been playing absolutely on top of his game today. Yeah, he has. It's a chance. Takes the shot off. So close to getting level. Well, they're still leading, and they've decided to go for a fresh player in the hope of hanging on to that lead. Mark Wilson. in quickly to try and win the ball back. Options available on the bench for the away side today. Adam Wingy. Players arriving in the centre for the cross. Stephen Ireland makes a challenge here. Olivier Giroud on the attack here. Here's the opportunity. It's Robert Hoop. Ryan Shotton. It's been an out of sorts, lackluster Arsenal performance today. And now the clock is working against them. Not a good challenge by the defender. And as the centre came in, the defender was well placed to deal with it. Tries to make the tackle. Marco Royce. Still a chance in this epic game for one side to get a winning goal, but not that much longer. Here's the opportunity. Here's the chance. Not a decisive save. He's got to score. That's really well done. Good defending. 2-1 the final score as the referee Ladies calls the halt. And, and 